Another very common chord that you will come across, especially if you're playing songs in the key of A major, and that's going to be the chord of F sharp minor. Now, the most common way of playing an F sharp minor is to play an E minor chord, refret the E minor chord, so that the first finger is free, move that up a whole tone, and then add a bar, barring across all six strings. Now, that is a very tricky chord to grab, especially when you're playing a chord progression, trying to get all those notes nice and clean. But what if I told you there was a chord hack that you could employ that would enable you to play an F sharp minor chord a lot easier? Well, I'm going to show you how to play that chord right now. Now, you are still going to have to play a partial bar for this chord. And you can start off by actually playing F sharp minor by just playing the top three strings, the G, the B, and the top E at the second fret. And I'm doing that with the first uh, segment of my first finger. Once you've got used to that, don't apply too much pressure. You don't want to be really pressing down hard. Just evenly disperse pressure, making sure you're not gripping too hard. That's going to make your hand tired. It's going to make your uh, forearm hurt. Once you have that portion of the chord down, then bring your third finger over onto the D string to play the root note on the fourth fret of the D. And there we have an F sharp minor chord. Now to complete that chord, you can bring your thumb over the top just to mute out the low E and A string. If you do happen to strike the A, it doesn't matter, the A note is actually in the chord and that does add a little bit more depth to the chord. But uh, if you want to move the shape around to play in other keys, then I would advise making sure that you mute out the low two strings. So you're playing the fourth fret of the D, barring across the top three strings at the second fret with your first finger. And once again, you can practice this with strums. making sure that you mute out the bottom low two strings. Also try to focus your picking hands so you're only making small movements, focusing your picking on the top four strings or your strumming, should I say. And also work on some chord arpeggios to make sure that all of the notes are nice and clean, especially when barring across the top three strings. Now, another thing that you can also do is practice moving into that chord. Maybe take the A major chord, playing that with one finger. And then reposition that finger and add the third finger. Those two chords work really nicely together. And I think it's important to practice changing from one chord into the F sharp minor so you get used to forming that bar as well as placing the third finger on the D string. And the relationship between A major and F sharp minor is very close. They're very strong chords to play together. As well as that, you can also just play that one finger version of A. And just by simply repositioning the bar slightly, and adding the third finger. So there you have a chord hack to enable you to play the F sharp minor chord.